Hey, it's Zephyr101, and I'm showing my face again. What's the occasion? Well, today I picked up a, a neat little title, something I've been anticipating for a long, long time, and the time has finally come. Yeah, if you've been following the way I've been rapping, being a fanboy about a certain series, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. But if not, by some chance, here it is. I picked up the, the Collector's Edition of E7, yeah, the game is normally thirty dollars, but I chipped in an extra twenty just to get all the goodies in this game. Uh, last year, I actually imported this E7, but considering the failure of a lot of other publishers about the series, I didn't want to take take the chance or wait too long for the possibility of coming. But hey, it's almost been a year since that this game actually came out, so hey, it, it wasn't too soon for me. So I'm gonna give this another playthrough. So anyhow, like I said. Collector's Edition, and it comes with some nice goodies. For starters, the game. Yeah, different cover art, you know, just quite clusterful, but compared to this minimalist import box art, but it does have one neat thing going for it. There, it, there is kind of a reverse cover with an interesting picture. Yeah, for the guys out there. Yeah, it comes with this little background thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm just currently adjusting. Anyhow, but there's of course more stuff for starters. Soundtrack. This isn't the full soundtrack, but mm, selected music, and it actually has all the good stuff, like all the good boss themes, all the good field themes, all the town themes, etc. The only things missing are just all the scene music, which is more kind of ambient then just kind of the weakest entries in the soundtrack. So this is pretty much the best of what the E7 music has to offer, so that's one thing. Another thing, this is this is the art book for it, which not only covers E7 art, but for the upcoming titles like Seed is also bringing over. Like here, this is the E7 stuff. And then there's some Oakton Falgana right there. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see, but you get the gist. Me, maybe, maybe you should buy it instead so you could get a better look. And East 1 and 2 Chronicles, the something something remake of the, the first two games that are over 20 years old. Yeah, all these all these little pictures, very nice sceneries and all that good stuff. Yeah, so that's nice. Most interesting of all is, is this right here. Maybe some of you wonder what is this. Look at this. This is a cloth map of the East World. Yeah, it's kind of long. I can't really see it through this video to, to full extent. But yeah, this is a cloth map, and I'm probably gonna be hanging in that wall right here. So yeah, really, really awesome. Really, really awesome map. Yeah, it's mostly regions and stuff on this side, whereas this is just nothing but ocean. Yeah, that little area here is where E6 AK Art and Art. Arc of Nepishtim took place, so it's for E7. Um, it's a little hard to I believe the place is called El Tago, and it's around the southern area of the map. It's a little hard to point without the map going inward. So, yeah. Are you wondering what else I'm going to be doing E7? I'm going to be doing the playthrough recording of it. Yeah. A playthrough record. And, yeah. Yeah, I know I have two other game projects that are both incomplete, like Trauma Team and Half Minute Hero, but it's something I wanted to do for a while. And yeah, I've just been busy, so I haven't been uploading uh, every single day, as some of you might be let down by, but hmm, life's been tough, and I'm just trying to do everything I can. A lot of times I just want to not upload and just rest rather than just, you know, do the recordings, rendering and stuff, or even with the songs, just think about five minutes, think of some witty commentary or whatever. Uh, so yes, look forward to the playthrough. It's coming soon.